people has been asking me on how to get started with mini quads and if you don't know what a mini quad is it's basically a small drone which you can build and fly yourself you can take everywhere with you uh, it's such a small form factor and uh, it can go at a very high speed and hit very small gaps which are perfect for fpv drone racing and freestyle stuff uh, so i've been doing this for almost uh, four years now and uh, when i get started it took me almost like six to seven months to get it perfect and uh, since this hobby is not cheap the parts are very expensive uh, consider it will take almost around 40 to 50 thousand rupees to get uh, your first mini quad if you don't have any equipment as of now and since not everyone have that much budget or that much uh, patience i decided to make this video on what is the correct way to get into mini quad so if you're looking to build a mini quad i would suggest you to stick to the end of the video because with all my experience i will be sharing a couple of tips which you can consider before actually building a mini quad which will help you decide if you actually want to build one and if you actually want to get into this hobby without spending a lot of money so let's get started So the very first option I would recommend is to buy yourself an indoor nano drone. This one costs around for 1500 rupees and uh, since these are cheaply available they are a really safe budget options for someone who have no prior experience with drones. I would highly recommend it but if you have some prior experience with drones maybe you were flying bigger drones or some commercial drones uh, before. Uh, and you want to get into mini quad then I won't recommend this because the transmitter to fly this one uh, is a very toy grade cheap transmitter which won't give you a real life feel but again if you don't have any prior experience definitely go buy this one so buying and flying an indoor nano drone is a really great option if you are a complete beginner but since it is more of a toy it won't give you a real life feel for which i recommend the second option which is to buy yourself a real rc transmitter and i know in the beginning of this video i told you this would be a very low budget ideas but hear me out so having a transmitter opens the door for complete new dimension for you you can not only fly drones and RC airplanes with it, but you can use it for all different kinds of DIY projects based on Arduino and Raspberry Pi and what not. So uh, this transmitter which I am holding costs around 3500 rupees, uh, which I would recommend you buy if you are on a tight budget. This is a FlySky transmitter FSI6X. This is a good transmitter if you are just getting started, but if you are really sure that you have to go a long way, I cannot stress more than enough to say that invest in a good radio. And what should be a good radio? Uh, so I usually fly this uh, FR Sky X90 Taranis Plus. Uh, this one costs around 20,000 rupees. Uh, if that is a bit on a higher side for you, then I would recommend to buy its uh, younger brother, which is the Taranis QX7. Comes in between 7 to 9,000 rupees, which is an amazing transmitter. So you can get uh, one of them. And benefit of having a transmitter like this is you can fly these small FPV mini drones. So this is a Beta 65, this is having an FPV camera, this is having motor guards which you can fly indoor. Uh, this is a really great quad and you can fly it indoors with this transmitter, I'll show you how you do that. So you just need to plug in the battery, turn on the transmitter and I hope this shows up in camera. So I'm going to fly this small drone over here using this transmitter. lot of fun I can do this whole day so yeah you see you can fly the small drone with a real transmitter and that how you can get a real life feel of flying drone and you can learn on this small platform uh, a good benefit of having a transmitter is they also come with a simulator support so you can plug a USB at the back of the transmitter and uh, with this USB you can connect to a software, a simulator where you can fly virtual drones, virtual airplanes, you can practice on them, you can crash and reset the game without having to repair anything and that is in my opinion the best thing to get started with drones and with that said, that's my third recommendation is to use a simulator. So with transmitters like Taranis and QX7, the simulator support is inbuilt, you just have to plug in the USB cable to your computer and you can get the simulator running. Uh, but if you are having a cheap radio like this FlySky, then you have to buy an, another cable. This is a simulator cable. I link everything down below. And this cable you can plug in uh, to your radio like this. 
and and the other side goes to the USB of the computer. So the next question should be which simulator to use. So if you want to practice uh, FPV racing drone, I can recommend two good simulators. One costs around five dollars and another one costs around ten to fifteen dollars. I'm not sure. The very first simulator I recommend is FPV Free Rider, which is uh, five dollars, and you can also uh, get it for free. There's a trial version for that. And the second one is the FPV Free Rider. I'll show you both in a bit. Uh, also, if you want to fly planes and not drones, then the simulator cables come with this uh, Phoenix RC simulator, which will give you an RC plane than FPV drones. Now, talking about simulator, you can fly the drones inside the computer with this transmitter. So, I'll switch over to the computer screen to show you how simulator works. All right. So, we'll first turn on the video. Welcome to OpenTX. And connect this cable to our computer and to the back of our Taranis. And then we'll open the program, which is known as FPV Freerider, which is our simulator program. The very first choice. And I can input here that I want to use my USB controller. I can calibrate everything. I have to do this only one time, once. This is just calibrating the sticks and once everything is calibrated, I can check that everything is working as expected. Then you can see there are six different locations which I can fly. So this is the FPV Freerider full version which costs around $5. So I can select anything here. I'm going to select this one because this is one of my favorite location. So now we are in the flying section and a really great thing about the simulator is it allows you to fly line of sight or you can switch to the FPV mode. So I'm going to fly FPV over here. You just have to grab your transmitter and I'm just hoping everything is in the screen and then you, we can fly. And you can explore the place, you can fly it. You can do some maneuvers. And even if you crashed, you can simply reset the simulator. That is the best thing about this simulator and you can practice as much as you want later on you can decide if you really want to build and fly a fpv mini quad all right so that was fpv free rider and the second simulator i was talking about was lift top which you can find on the steam store i link it down below if you want to purchase it and this simulator is very realistic as you will see in a bit uh, this was i guess made by Immersion rc in association with the rotor riot uh, this does require some high graphic processing on your pc so uh, on old generation no GPU based PC it might lag a bit but it would give you the most immersive experience out of any FPV simulator out there so highly recommend it so that detected my transmitter I'll just quickly go to single player free flight so I'll choose this one just for the sake of the demo And now we are in the flying window so we can again take our transmitter and go on flying so you can see a bit of graphic lagging there but you can reduce the resolution and fix it definitely need some tuning this software definitely requires some tuning but you get that idea right so that was about fpv simulator and that's all for this video i hope you get some knowledge of how you can get started with mini quad if you have any query comment it down below make sure to share this video with your friends who are looking to get into this hobby and i'll see you in the next one